So it's been a year. On May 25th, 2022, I took the stand for Johnny against Amber Heard in a defamation lawsuit that became immensely popular online. I had a viral moment. Uh, things have changed for me quite a bit in the last year, and I still get a lot of questions about it. So I thought a year out, we can talk about what's different for me, uh, my thoughts on where Johnny is now, my thoughts on where Amber is or isn't now, and we're going to answer some frequently asked questions that I get on my live streams, as well as react to my viral moments which I have not actually seen all the way through. Number one question I get asked is, do I regret it? Of course not, no. Uh, this was something I knew the truth about. I was in a unique position to give some information and help someone that I knew was, yeah, I don't know if he's totally innocent, but definitely innocent of what he was being accused of. And I knew that there was some media manipulation taking place. Two of the camera guys that worked for me during all of that time that I testified about have come forward to corroborate my testimony. They came out and said, yeah, everything you said was true. I remember and I was there. That actually leads me to my next big question people ask me is, did TMZ come after me? No, they did not. I think they understood that they were better off just leaving it alone because they'd already gotten so much bad press out of this. And uh, I know some people who still work at TMZ and were telling me what it was like when all of this went down, when the trial was happening. The office came to a standstill and they were watching my testimony. And... Harvey Levin was scared shitless and it was freaking out, running around for the lawyers. Um, when that article came out saying I was going to testify, he just jumped up and started screaming for the lawyers. And the fear and panic was uh, extremely funny to me. And it makes me really happy. Do I know Johnny? So, no, we hung out for about half an hour after I testified, uh, just by virtue of being in the, the same like room after the fact. And we just chatted about stuff and he was extremely thankful said oh my god it's so amazing you're doing this thank you so much you helped so much blah 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 um but no of course he didn't reach out he's you know i don't know him anything he doesn't know me anything there's no reason for us to be in further contact if i was him i would want to put this as far behind me as humanly possible and i probably wouldn't really want to see most of those people ever again just want to close that chapter and on that topic have i spoken to uh camille or elaine no i have not uh, Elaine, God no, fuck her. Uh, and Camille, uh, I have not spoken to her. I have no reason to. She's a lawyer. Her job is done. Also, I wasn't totally thrilled when she uh, went on TMZ. She like went to the offices to be a part of their Christmas special. I also didn't love when she agreed to take Kanye on as a client. They got a lot of backlash for that and didn't end up doing it. But, you know, it's one of those things you got to remember. These people are lawyers. Lawyers first. People second. Am I famous now? No, but if I was, I maybe was for about a month. I understand the fascination and wanting to ask questions and that you saw me on TV and all that. So I get it. It's no different than coming up to like the chocolate rain guy. I had a viral moment, so it's a thing. I get it. And if you see me doing content stuff like this, I've been doing this since long, long before uh, this trial happened. I've been making content on Twitch and everywhere else for like five years. And, um, and that's always been my kind of bread and butter is doing videos on entertainment news. So now instead of doing it for other companies, I just get to do it for myself. Also on that note, I was half expecting to eventually have some kind of horrible run in with an Amber stand where somebody would like throw a drink in my face and record it and put it on Facebook. But that never happened. I didn't even get any death threats. I got a lot of people being mean to me and like comments on videos and stuff. But what do I care? As far as what I'm up to now, I'm doing content, stuff like this, um, and I'm trying to work on like my media literacy advocation to try to help people understand when you see stuff in tabloids, what's for real, what's obviously a lie, understanding photo credits, things like that. Trying to help people understand media and what they're seeing, what they're reading, because I think at the base level, media literacy is the ability to understand what's truth and what's not. And at its most important level, it's how we identify propaganda and fight fascism. Okay, now without further ado, we are going to react to my little viral moment, which I have not seen all the way through. And I'm going to cringe through this whole thing, but we'll get through it together. No. If you don't have information that's helpful to this case, then you wouldn't be a witness, correct? Objection, uh, culture speculation. Yeah. Sustained, I'm, sustained, next question. I'm not aware. Right. Okay, you know, this, you know this case is being televised, right? I don't know where she was going with that one. I guess she was trying to say that like I didn't have anything, therefore the only reason I could be there. But it's because the the TMZ lawyer who came up before, like they basically said like he doesn't know anything. He has no, you know, he he, he doesn't have any information. But if he did, we're going to sue everybody involved. <laughs> so <laughs> there wasn't a lot of confidence in that. So I guess she was trying to grab onto that, but that that went nowhere. I, I am aware that there are cameras. 
And so this gets you your 15 minutes of fame. Objection, it? Your Honor. Argumentative. I, I can ask that question. Oh, ruled. Um, so I stand to gain nothing from this. I still can't believe she asked that. What a shitty thing to ask. I don't know how she couldn't see that. And they, they, they tried that with somebody else, too. I remember they, they tried the 15 minutes thing with another another person. I mean, way to show your hand that you really have nothing to go on. You have nothing, nothing. By the way, there's a bunch of stuff she probably could have said. Um, she really could have drilled into the fact that, like, she could tell that I wasn't going to name names, which was TMZ's biggest fear, is that I was going to I was going to reveal hard sources and say a name. And then that would jeopardize their, uh, you know, news gathering ability in the future. But if she had just dug into the fact that I wasn't going to say the name and try to make it seem like I was lying, then maybe she would have had a better shot. But she just went for this BS. Just a bad lawyer. Bad lawyer. I'm actually putting myself kind of in the target of TMZ, a very litigious uh, organization. By the way, I found out after the fact, and if you follow me on Twitter, you saw this. I am responsible for a massive spike in the Googling of what litigious means. And I'm not seeking any 15 minutes here. Though you may, you're welcome to speculate. I could say the same thing by taking Amber Heard as a client for you. A little argumentative, don't you think? Oh, hardly. I find that to be purely logical. Okay, so here's the thing where there's a couple of the, the lawyers, law tube guys back there, whom I've, whom I've talked to. Uh, they're nice guys. But yeah, so... You obviously saw everybody's reaction, everybody laughed, ha ha ha, all that. What you didn't see was the jury. Uh, I remember, because I was in a trance this whole time. I was, it was like, it was very, very scary. By the way, neither here nor there, the courtroom was very pretty. Very, very pretty. You can kind of tell there's like some natural light coming off from the left. It was, it's a very pretty courthouse. But um, I remember out of the corner of my eye seeing the jury sort of looking at each other like, oh shit. It was so... You didn't see the jury, obviously, but they were also like, oh my God, I, I think they were over her too. I think they shared in everybody's um, detest for her. Cool. Thank now, you. are you aware that Mr. Depp's attorneys were well aware of the TRO that was going to be presented on May 27th? Objection, calls for speculation. Were you aware of that? Lack of foundation. No, overruled if you can answer it. Can you restate the question? Were you aware that Mr. Depp's... Yeah, I, well, as soon as they do the objection stuff, I'm just like, uh, I'm getting confused. Because I basically went into this knowing they were going to object to every single thing I said in an, uh, in an effort to just stop me from saying anything. So, they tried. Divorce attorneys were aware that Amber Heard was going in to seek a TRO on May 20. So when she asks stuff like this, she's not asking me. She's just trying to get, she's trying to say this and get it on the record. She's not asking me. It doesn't matter if I say yes or no. Also, it's like the only reason I would, if I was answered yes to this, it would be good for her, I guess. But yeah, I, it's, I think it's more her just trying to say, like she, she says a couple more things like that, where it's more statement than question. I don't think I understand the question. I don't think so. No. Okay. It's kind Do of a complicated you know question. Whether <laughs> At this point, after the after she was uh, a little snotty with me, I'm just like, whatever. This is this whole thing is kind of a farce now. So I, I think I was, I was really nervous at this point, definitely. But I, I by the way, I had no idea what would happen. It wasn't until afterwards when I'm like, oh yeah, I think I, I think I understand that I did a funny thing. I was still scared shitless up here. Blair Burke, one of Mr. Depp's. Divorce attorneys has a very close, had a very close relationship with TMZ at that time. Objection calls for speculation. <laughs> I was trying, I was trying to be good there. I was trying to be like, no, this is, I have to wait. I'm not going to go ahead and give him a question. I'm going to wait and see what the judge says. By the way, hats off to the judge. She was awesome. Thank judge you. Penny. Uh, I was not aware of that. Okay. And... When you said that you were dispatched twice, once to film Amber for in a parking lot for the deposition, and then it didn't work out, and so you had to do it another time, how did you know it didn't work out? Because TMZ.com posted an article saying as much. Okay. And I, know, I was not dispatched. Do you know the why office. the deposition did not work out? I'd have to reference the article. I forget. So, so do you know? I, I, I didn't. Yeah, again, a, a lot of what I was trying to go on was, was I, I think... Uh, the defense had missed a bunch of really obvious stuff that was just on the TMZ website. Like there was a lot of information there that if you were able to piece together 
you would, you would be able to piece together a story and timeline based on his articles. And that's why I originally reached out. I'm like, you know, I just wanted to point out to them like, hey, if you look on the website, there's a bunch of stuff that like that really tells a story on what happened. And and there's only reason that they would be there is if they had this information prior. So I was really just trying to point this stuff out to them. And then they were like, OK, well, what are you doing next week? Can you point it out for us? I didn't write that story. I wasn't involved in the actual you know journalism of that. which side? Do you know which side would have known or not known whether that deposition was going to work out? In other words, the people representing Mr. Depp or the people representing Ms. Hurd? I wouldn't know. Okay, so that's, that's most of that. So yeah, then from there, it was more of just, she asked me a bunch of questions and I was like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. And a lot of it was just, I don't know. Because I came there for a specific purpose. I was just trying to show like, you know, the only, you, you can piece it together from what I'm saying. I'm not going to reveal sources. I'm not going to, you know, risk an insane lawsuit. I'm also, I'm also just going to say what I know for sure. And it's enough breadcrumbs that you can figure it out from there. I think I did a pretty good job with that. I had people asking me afterwards if I was a lawyer. Speaking of which, this has kind of inspired me because I, I like entertainment law. I find it very interesting. And I'm trying to figure out what like my next kind of career move is. So I've been looking into going to law school. Um, and it was the last thing I told my mom before she died. So I, I really want to. So I'm. that's one of those things that this has really inspired is I think I want to go to law school. Uh, I'll be uh, somebody who can help creators, especially when it comes to uh, things like contracts and maybe even defamation, but it's it's something that I'm I want to pursue as far as entertainment law, especially when it comes to like IP and copyright. Um, since I kind of I seem to kind of get that pretty well, so yeah, stay tuned for that. As far as where Johnny is now, I was super happy to see him at Cannes. Something needed to be the first Johnny Depp movie back from all of this. Now the door is open for things like Beetlejuice two. There's going to be a lot less articles, a lot less attention, a lot less asking Brie Larson awkward questions during uh, during pressers that it doesn't have anything to do with her. Meanwhile, I know that Amber's living in Spain now in what is essentially exile. That is all she can do right now. She's done in Hollywood. Her last appearance is going to be the five minutes she has left in Aquaman 2, which I will go see. And I encourage everyone to go see because there's no purpose in punishing everyone else, including Jason Momoa, whom I love. So don't don't boycott that movie. Also, boycotts don't work. So go see Aquaman 2 if you want to. Boo when she comes on. I don't care. But I, I just want to say, like, please don't boycott that movie. It's she, she's done. It's already over. I'm I'm proud of Johnny for putting himself out there again. I can't wait to see Beetlejuice 2, which I'm almost sure he's in. It sounds like um, I love his daughter, by the way. She's in that new show, The Idol, which is getting very weird reviews. But um, I'm going to see it. It sounds kind of interesting. Um, and I hope to see more from her. She's a really interesting actress. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate you being here. Uh, again, there's there was a huge amount of people that that gave me a lot of attention in the very beginning because they were out of just morbid curiosity and wanting to have more, a lot of questions about what I knew. And then that whittled down into this core community of really interesting people who have uh, a desire to learn about media literacy and talk about entertainment news. So I'm super thankful for this community we've built. And... Um, I, I look forward to, to doing more content with some kind of meaning and purpose to it. And, uh, and yeah, thanks. Thanks everybody for being here. I appreciate it. We'll see you around.